חי. The people of Israel lives. The people of Israel lived without Israel for 1,870 years. But the Jewish identification with Israel is as old as the Jews. The intention to return was confirmed by every exile the Jews suffered. The memory of Jewish oath. You, Jerusalem, may my right hand forget its cunning. May my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I forget Jerusalem. For nearly 2,000 years, the Jewish intention to return to Israel remained unbroken. And 20 years ago, by a resolution of the United Nations and the historic efforts of the Jewish people, the people of Israel lived again in the land of Israel. We, the members of the National Council, representing the Jewish people in the land of Israel and the Zionist movement, by virtue of our natural and historic right and of the resolution of the General Assembly of the United Nations, to hereby proclaim the establishment of a Jewish state in the land of Israel, the state of Israel. Among the first members of the United Nations to support the State of Israel was the Soviet Union. At the United Nations Security Council meeting, Mr. Gromyko said, The Arab states have no reason to consider the creation of an independent Jewish state as a threat to themselves. Egypt, Lebanon, Syria, Iraq and Jordan walked out of the United Nations on the occasion of Israel's birth. But the next day they were back with a birthday present. May 15, 1948, the day after the State of Israel was declared to exist, the Arab armies who denied its existence invaded it. Egypt, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon and Iraq joined forces against Israel. The Egyptians have occupied Gaza. Tel Aviv bombed. Today, Tel Aviv resembles London in wartime, and there's total blackout from sunset to sunrise. It's still without any fighter defense, and daylight raiders headshot over the rooftops as if giving a display of aerobatics. Nearly a hundred people, including women and children, have been killed. Azam Pasha, Secretary General of the Arab League, declares, This war will be a momentous massacre, which will be spoken of with the Mongol massacres and the Crusades. This war will be a war of extermination. <laughs> 